All right, hope everybody's uh, hanging in there, doing well. It's uh, Thursday going into Friday. I think it's August the uh, 26th. And I thought I'd just do a video of some random stuff. I finally got a chance to set up a couple of crosses that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, you know, they make, two of them make perfect sense. Uh, it's the all red albino males, which are these, are two really nice ones to uh, some roebuck red females. So I've had this set up for about three weeks. And what I do is I uh, use these small tanks for a couple of reasons. Uh, it was a great idea from a terrific guppy breeder named Dave Palunas. An IFGE judge and a terrific guppy breeder from the South Jersey Guppy Group. And he said, you know, they use the smaller tanks because it's easier to keep track of uh, what's going on and less space for the males to have to chase the females. So I put in three virgin females and two uh, of the real nice males. And so far, uh, yeah, they're all having fun. So I thought I'd mention another thing too. Besides these small tanks, even though all the fish are coming from my own tanks, my own water, uh, I still acclimate them uh, a little bit slower. I, I don't dump them in. I don't like that meth method. Uh, it's, it's too risky. I mean, it, it can work if they're your own fish. But for me, I'd, I'd rather acclimate them. So what I do is I get one of these small containers, which I think this was uh, Skippy's peanut butter uh, balls. And uh, so I, I'll fill that halfway with water uh, for each of them, you know, for each different strain, and then float it inside the uh, small tank. Uh, I use pre-rinsed uh, plants. These are thin leaf water sprite. And then I, you know, I put them together after eh, about 20 minutes. I just dump a little bit of their water into the tank. And it kind of keeps from clamping. Uh, even if it's your own water, that can still happen when you mix uh, fish that haven't been together. Because they all have different immunities and different tanks. So that kind of cuts down on uh, any of the problems, but these are very nice fish. Uh, I'm supposed to get albinos out of the Roebuck Reds, but people I've sold them to have gotten them. Uh, I've had, I think I've had one albino in about 10 years and I really couldn't do anything with that. I don't think it lived that long. So anyway, that's one of the crosses. Another one is uh, a strange one. It's an all red albino female. At some point, I'll use an all red albino female to uh, rope up red males. That's gonna be the next thing I set up. But this is one of those uh, weird Batman guppy things. Let's see if I can get a little close up on him or her. And uh, it was a cross I really wasn't gonna do. But to be honest, the, uh, the female jumped into the 10-gallon uh, tank, which I'll show coming up, of the, uh, I don't know what they're called, Gotham Guppies, Batman Guppies, something. My mind just thinks Batman Guppies, so that's what's going on. So after I kind of noticed she was in there, because she slipped through a tiny little area in the top of the tank, the lid, so I figured out, oh, well, let me uh, take her out with the male and put them together. So I got to put more plants in there. So I just set that up. So uh, how does a uh, bee groom their hair? With a honeycomb, a honeycomb. Oh, oh come on, that's awful. Yeah, it looks like it's picking up the tanks behind, which are very well planted, by the way. Try to get close up on this guy. And I have a video coming up on uh, these lower sore tails. These are fry that grew out or are growing out that I got from uh, my friend Mob Guppy. 
He has excellent lower sword tails if you uh, are in the market for them. And uh, I think I have a male and five females in this tank. So they have to go into a bigger tank as soon as I uh, get the tank ready. But I have more, I have like a gigantic just conglomeration of them in one tank that I have to uh, sort out. I probably have about 25 pair in there. So, all right, I'll be right back in a second. I'm going to uh, move the light from on top of these tanks to the next couple tanks I'm going to show. I'll be right back. All right, I figured since the lights went out in the other half of the fish room, I'd show what's going on with the full reds. Uh, this is a breeding quadrio. It's actually, it's a more than that because I have four females and one male. Get the male in there. And uh, so what I've been doing with, uh, with these fish, which I'll mention again in the last part of the video, is I let the females have their fry, which these have done. There's some water sprite, thin leaf at the top. And uh, I think I'm waiting for, well, I'm gonna pull all these fish out tomorrow, but I think I'm waiting for this one right here to drop her fry. Now, since they're all related, uh, I just, I take out the adults because it's much easier than trying to catch all these fry and uh, put the adults in one of the other uh, empty uh, tanks, empty except for water, and uh, let them start over. So I usually keep them for four drops and then start working with uh, the next generation, well, the four month old generation, which would be these. So I'll take three more drops from these females and then I will move on. So anyhow, I'm gonna uh, add some more stuff and be right back. All right, so this is the uh, small area that the female jumped through. That's about uh, maybe almost an inch. And she was in a tank like this with a couple others. And I, I guess I left the lid off one night after I fed them. And somehow she got through that after jumping out and I guess flopped over to the uh, opening and got in. So these are uh, 10 gallon tanks. A couple of them, there's gonna be a third one soon of the, whatever these are called, Batman guppies, Gotham night guppies. Something that reminds me of Batman, which is why I keep calling them that. And the name kind of stuck because I really don't know what the heck I'm talking about with these. So they're almost like a poorly formed uh, Black Delta, which is an IFGA term. They have, they would have just a, a crappy tail and dorsal for that. But color wise, uh, that's pretty much what they are. I have seen, I have gotten a couple of males that have like a I guess like a greenish blue and I, I tried to separate them but I can't quite tell if they really have greenish blue or if it's uh, the overhead uh, LED light because I guess to save some money or I don't know why but when the Chinese make these uh, LED lights which have proliferated our hobby they put in uh, probably about one red, one blue, one green every uh, certain amount of white lights. So we can kind of see if we can see them out there. There you go. So that's kind of weird. But I'm sure they have a reason. They're not going to tell us. And the plant is, uh, I don't know, foxtrot, foxwood, fox something. Now this whole plant had died. I had bought them, I think from eBay or Aquabid, and here's more of a example of it. And so I just kind of left them in the tanks. Uh, I kept doing water changes and uh, just getting out the dead plants. But then I noticed in the one day I had quite a bit of a decent amount of a very decent plant. So I uh, put them in these two tanks since that's the water that they had always known. Now these females, uh, I think there's two trios in this tank. I don't know if I can get the males to come close enough, probably not. But they're all in excellent shape. There should be fry in there any day. 
because the females are really, really fat. Here's the idea with the males. Nice, but like I said, they're like a bad uh, black tailed. And yeah, maybe I can get it closer with these. So, anyways, that's what's going on with these. Uh, I will have a few trios of these for sale. I'm trying to get some auctions on Aquabid, but apparently I was using Photo Bucket and uh, I guess they just decided to shaft everybody and you either have to pay for an account or you can't access your photos. And I don't really feel like paying because I don't use it much. So I have to find another photo hosting site. I, I probably have one with Google. I have to look into that. May even have one with Amazon. But like I said, I'll have to figure that out too, I guess. So anyway, these are pretty nice fish. I mean, they're just a regular basic guppy. Uh, but they look good in a tank of a, just a bunch of them. And like I said, the females really fill out nicely with uh, the body shape. Uh, for me, I would just work on the, the fin shape and try to get almost a solid black like uh, this one is. All right, lights went out. So let me show something else why, before I look stupid. All right, lights are on timers. So it's very late at night and uh, these lights are not on timers. This is a uh, batch or two of uh, Roebuck Reds. I'm gonna get this to focus. This is a breeding group of Roebuck Reds. And I think it's a male and three females. Uh, uh, they're in here uh, uh, with a lot of plants because what's gonna happen is all three of the females are gonna have fry since they're sisters. I'm not gonna mark uh, fry into different tanks I'm just gonna as they have them I'll, I'm gonna pull the females out and put them in this tank which is coming down and getting set back up and then uh, I'll just have a tank of fry which is what I have here and this is another just tank of older fry they're starting to color up get this thing to not focus on the plants it's just not doing so this is uh, six weeks old. You can pretty much start to tell males from females if you could actually find the fish. Uh, because I think the, uh, obviously the ones with color like this are gonna be males. And the gonopodium is just starting. So I'll do some culling and uh, of the males and save the best of the group. And uh, these are uh, pre-sold. So I gotta start contacting the people. And these are a, a four month to five month old batch of uh, Roebuck Reds. Really, really beautiful fish. Uh, probably my favorite uh, strain, except I'll probably say that about every other strain I have. And uh, anyway, they've developed very nicely. You can see all the males look about the same. Uh, the only thing I have to watch with this line is the shape of the tail and uh, if they get any black that sneaks into the tail. Other than that, these things are perfect every time. All right, so that'll wrap it up because uh, the lights went out in half the fish room. And uh, I'll have another video up soon and I appreciate you hanging in there for this one. I uh, just am uh, still watching baseball at night and it's putting me to sleep and uh, I don't get enough stuff done. But I got all the fish tank work done today, so I'm happy about that. All right, take care. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments or uh, send me an email. I'll put the email address in the video description. And same thing if you want to buy the high protein food or the uh, ultimate veggie flag or the ultimate meat flake. You can buy them off Amazon. Well, not Amazon yet. Uh, eBay or Aquabid. Or you can buy direct for a couple bucks cheaper. It's 14 a jar direct. But you'd have to email me for that. So I actually sold out of jars of the uh, high protein uh, crumble. And they're due in tomorrow. So I shipped everything this week made up another batch 
and saw I was out of jars. So kind of poor planning on my part, but it's fixed. The, uh, the new jars will be here tomorrow. So, all right, hang in there. Thanks very much for watching and uh, see you on the next one.